Kia ora, my name is Leilani and this is my first video log for the New Zealand National Breastfeeding Initiative and I'm going to be sharing with you some ideas about how you can prepare for breastfeeding before your baby arrives. Um, my husband and I were based in Wellington and we have three other children aged six, four and two and we are preparing for our fourth baby which will be arriving uh, literally any day now. <laughs> uh, one of the things that we have done to prepare for this baby uh, is that we have been able to pick up this free DVD and it's called Breastfeeding Naturally and in it you'll be able to watch stories that are based on the real life experiences of New Zealand women who have chosen to breastfeed and how they found it. Um, there's another great place on the internet that you can go to and it's called www.breastfeeding.org.nz and on there you can get lots of really good information about um, the health benefits of breastfeeding, uh, correct positioning and latching on and also um, hunger cues that your baby will give to you and this is really empowering for a new mum and also for a mum like myself where this is my fourth baby where you'll be able to recognize signs when your baby is hungry and you'll be able to observe uh, in the privacy of your own home um, that correct positioning and latching on technique uh, you know when I had Joseph I had no idea that there was a technique to breastfeeding I thought that I would just pop him on and he would just start feeding but um, I found it a very different experience. In fact, things didn't start off very well for me with Joseph, but I was able, like many other women, to um, to work at it. It wasn't easy, um, but after a while I was able to, uh, to get the right technique and successfully go on to breastfeed him for 22 months. Um, another thing that my husband are doing that we did, that is different with this baby than before is probably because this is our fourth child we are enlisting the, the help and support of family and friends um, you know when you've got a few other children around you breastfeeding can be um, quite tiresome <laughs> another thing you can do to help prepare you for breastfeeding is you can speak to your midwife who will be able to give you a lot of good advice. You can also speak to lactation consultants who are basically experts on breastfeeding. And we're going to be speaking to a lactation consultant called Chris Kelly later on in this video piece. And you'll be able to learn some of the services that they provide. Um, you can also speak to other mums and who I am sure will be more than happy to share with you their experiences. And all of these things, they help you to make an informed decision, an informed choice, and help you to feel more confident um, when that time does come. Uh, something else that my husband and I are doing to prepare for this new baby and also allow me to be able to breastfeed, especially in those first few weeks when I'm at home, is that we're enlisting the help and support of family and friends starting with my mother who will be arriving uh, tomorrow and then my mother-in-law will be coming down when my mother actually leaves to go back home again. Um, we have readily accepted help from friends who have asked if they can bring over baking and dinners um, or asked to babysit some of our other children. It's really really important that, um, that you get that help and support in those first few days it allows you not only to get the rest that you need, but it allows you to focus and concentrate on learning that new technique. And though this is our fourth baby, um, I'm not naive to the fact that I need to uh, relearn that technique again. And with the help of my family and my friends around me, I believe that I'll be able to do that more effectively. And I encourage you to do the same. And... Uh, in closing, I'd just like to say um, that as you get closer to the date of your baby arriving, to put your feet up and take it easy and 
the next time you see me when I post my second video log, uh, I should have a little baby in my arms. Hi, my name is Chris Kelly and I am a childbirth educator uh, and I'm also a mum of two boys, uh, Lawrence and Eddie, who are six and three, uh, both breastfed. And uh, about just over a year ago, uh, colleagues of mine and I realised that uh, there was little support out there for breastfeeding women. So we established our company called Mumalicious. And so we do breastfeeding education for women antenatally and postnatally. It's really important that um, women know what potential challenges could happen. Uh, most of us at some stage during breastfeeding get sore nipples. So, and you know, in the early days, it's, it's uh, your nipples getting used to all that attention. Um, but, you know, it can only take one bad latch for your nipples to be a bit grazed. And so, and then you have that recovery time. And so, understanding positioning and latching so that you get that right is really important. And then recognizing those signs if something has gone wrong. Um, and what you can do about it at that point. So, uh, so Mumalicious is one of the services out there for women, but there's also other services available. It's really important for women to uh, find out about them. So whether they talk to their midwives um, or friends or even search on the internet uh, to find places that do uh, postnatal breastfeeding classes. Um, for example, in Wellington, there's us, uh, and then there's also the hospital do uh, classes as well. Um, there's also, uh, in Cannons Creek, uh, they have services out there, and uh, also La Leche League, which is a voluntary organisation, and, and they are all around New Zealand, and so uh, women can contact them and get support that way too. For some women, with all the best intentions, they can try to breastfeed, but for one reason or another, they can't. Um, and again, luckily, it's a small few rather than the most of us. So by doing the breastfeeding classes, women gain the knowledge, the tools, and the support uh, so that they can go into breastfeeding really confidently and hopefully avoid any of the challenges uh, that can happen.